Good morning, folks. We're awaiting CME impact here at Earth off the filament snap and post-release long-duration hider flare. After NASA initially predicted a miss, NOAA said impact tomorrow, and I said impact today, NASA has now come round and said that the shockwave should hit today in just a few hours. Let's watch the solar wind density and speed throughout the day for surges that would indicate that impact. Meanwhile, the last 24 hours have been quiet. No big eruptions. We're just watching our soon-to-be primary eruption threat dancing into view over the southeastern limb. By tomorrow night, the lead edge will be in geo-effective position. Let's jump to spaceweathernews.com and find solar flaring still struggling to produce. There is only one suspect in the collar that actually knows anything, but he's no snitch and he's not talking. The earth-facing solar quiet continues. Earthquakes had a quiet October, then we had a seven-pointer strike Vanuatu, and then everything went quiet again. From the top left and bottom left, you see the northern corona hole and a southern extension turning into face Earth in the coming days. Those primary quake factors could give us a re-ramp of activity as we head into next week. Top news includes the third gamma ray burst in the last three days. That follows two weeks without one. Comet Lovejoy, it's where the aliens go to party. In addition to ice, and among the 20 organic compounds discovered, was alcohol, the drinkable kind. I'm putting Indian Ocean coastlines on watch for a November rocket re-entry that is expected to hit the water south of Sri Lanka. But also, it's expected to light up, be a spectacular sight, even in the middle of the day. That means everyone around this ocean should get a very rare show. Folks, the damage totals from Patricia are going to be amazing. 211 mile per hour winds were recorded in one area, and the wind speed and pressure of this system have both set new records. Watch the cloud line extending into the Atlantic break as the hurricane strengthened. It also pushes up into the central United States thereafter. We can visualize that here as well at windyty.com, and please know it's not going to stop soon. Patricia's remnants are actually going to get up and sit on top of Texas in just a few hours. Greece, not having much better of a time. These are the scenes from a flood-driven mudslide that has already claimed at least one life. Silver lining is that the dock is now hiring on their cleanup crew, so, you know, jobs. Website members of suspiciousobservers.org. Today's episode of Fly on the Wall will have some can't-miss announcements, a detailed update on just how rapidly the planet is changing, plus our normal fascinating forays into other topics. Olaf took one look at Hawaii and turned the other cheek. We're at the top viewer locations for pressure and radar forecasts, and we're sticking to the South Atlantic and Indian Oceans for our current conditions, and of course shots of our star to close. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.